Hi everyone, it's Health Coach Tam and I'm coming to you today. Um, this is day 20 of our 30 day quarantine challenge. Now day 20, it is a rest day from our workout so you get to let your body rest. I know my body needed it because my legs, I'm telling y'all, mm -mm, they're killing me. So I, my body needed this rest. I think I'm going to take me a nice uh, warm Epsom salt and essential oil bath tonight just so I can kind of like really unwind. But anyway, enough about that. I'm coming to you guys because um, every rest day, I want to deliver some type of message. Like some type of message, something to do with wellness and just overall um, um, well-being. So, because a lot of times we think about health, um, we only think about our weight and, you know, what we're eating. But I think I said before, like your wellness is everything that you're taking and everything that you allow to come into your spirit, uh, your attitude, your perspective, all those things have to do with your wellness and how well you are. So it's not just your outward appearance. It really has to do with what's on the inside. So, um, I've been kind of busy today. I know it's kind of late. I've been busy, um, out grocery shopping and juice prepping so I got a lot going on right now but I was thinking about like what would be a good message for today on day 20 of this of this cleanse of this uh, not cleanse of this um, workout challenge what would be a good message for today and so I started to think about like what are some things that I personally struggle with because this is a transparent space so this is a non-judgmental transparent space so I'm like what do I struggle with what are some things that I, you know, still struggle with. And something that came to mind was um, the thought of competition. Um, competing with other people, just mentally competing with other people. Not like in a, you know, sports arena, anything like that, but just mentally competing against other people versus recognizing my own, your own unique genius. Because we are all different we all have something to offer even if you and someone else are doing the exact same thing what you have to offer is what you have to offer and it can only come from you like it cannot come from the other person who's doing something similar to you it just cannot come from them in the same way to reach the same audience and to get the same result so we a lot of times minimize our own genius like we just kind of look around and see what the next person is doing and we just we, we want to compare ourselves to the next person but really it boils down to what are you good at like like where are you at it, it boils down to um uh, I'm looking at my this this paper because this is something that that, that I pulled out from my um, health coaching book, and it's talking about the internal dialogue. Like we can sometimes be so negative or so down on ourselves, and a lot of times it has to do with comparing ourselves to other people. So it's the internal dialogue that moves us, that drives us. So we have to get over the negativity and knowing what you have to bring to the table, what you have to offer is uniquely yours. And no one can do it like you. I don't care if they're doing something very similar. No one can do it like you. No one can bring that personality. No one can sell my juice the way I sell my juice because I really get into, to me, the best part is the, the, the education part and talking to them about the ingredients. Like, that's my niche. That's my thing. So no one else I feel like can do it how I do it because that's my thing. And I, I want my light to shine. So I don't want to ever minimize my own unique genius trying to uh, compare myself to the next person. So I just come here with this just brief message just to encourage you guys that you have a unique genius within you. Don't always look around and compare yourself to what someone else is doing. That is irrelevant. The only thing that matters is what are you doing with your abilities, with your skills. So you might be thinking that you want to start a particular business or a particular new venture, but oh, there are hundreds of people doing that out there. Like there's so you know, it's so the market is saturated. There is no saturated market. There is no no such thing as a saturated market because there are too many people. So you have to find your path and reach your audience because that's your audience. And if it not be for you, they might not ever get that information, that service, that 
item that you have to offer. So I just want to encourage you guys that while we're at home and we have so much time and some of us got a little extra money, just encourage you to think about your unique genius and just just relish in that. Just relish in that and, and grow from that concept because there's only one you. There's only one you. You can only bring it the way that you bring it and it can only be received by those people from you as the vessel bringing that that energy that item that vibe whatever it is so i just want to encourage you guys this is day 20. tomorrow we right back at the workout um yes i'm excited but i am excited because we're down to the last 10 days so i'm super excited so look forward to that workout tomorrow as always guys you can find me on instagram at revitalize juice and more um drink eat be well I'm still juicing, I'm still selling, uh, we're still delivering, we're just delivering a message of hope and good nutrition, and that's where we come from. All right, thank you guys, peace out.